Mary and Joseph were settling down for the evening. Joseph's work at the family firm was done for the day, and Jesus was playing with a wooden toy that Joseph had made for him. Their peace was broken by a knock at the door. Joseph approached the door cautiously. It was unusual for people to call after dark. Who is it? We have come to see the Messiah, came a voice from outside. Joseph looked nervously at Mary. They hadn't had many visitors since the shepherds on that first night. Certainly, no one had come asking for the Messiah. It's late. Come back tomorrow, replied Joseph, his voice wavering, showing his anxiety. Please, came the voice again. We have travelled a thousand miles. All we want is to worship the boy born to be king of the Jews. Mary's face softened. Let them in. Joseph opened the door to find four men dressed in expensive-looking eastern clothing. In the street behind them, he could see more men who looked like servants and camels, too. Come in. We saw your child's star in the east. We followed it, and it led us here, to you. And with that, the men fell to their knees before Jesus. They placed gifts before him. Gold for a king. Frankincense, for God has come to live with us. Myrrh, for the child's death will be as important as his birth.